Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have another Japanese feast for y'all today. And starting on your left, we have some salmon and tuna sashimi, some ika karage, aka squid karage, some taco wasabi, which is uh, octopus with uh, wasabi flavoring. And uh, we have some seaweed to accompany that. Lastly, I have something called gomai, which is a spinach salad with the sesame dressing on top. And of course, I almost forgot to mention most important part the diet coke you know we gotta have that i'm super hungry and really excited so let's just get straight into it let's get it oh. boom first sip of the coke Okay, I'm gonna start with some of the sashimi. Gently pour it over. Nice. Let's get straight into this. An instant double bite of this salmon sashimi. Let's go. First bite. Mm. So good. Tastes really fresh, uh, not too oily, and they actually give pretty thick cuts from the place I got it from. Sushimura, if you're wondering where I got it from. Can I go for some of the tuna? Guess what it looks like. Dang! Okay, let's go. Double tuna. Mmm. Tuna is so good too. Really nothing negative to say. And I want you all to let me know down in the comments. Are you salmon gang or tuna gang? Let me know. Maybe you might not dislike the other one, but some people have a different preference for it. So let's go for some Ika Karage, aka squid karage. Here's what it looks like. And I'm going to dip it in this beautiful sauce. Mix it around here a little bit. It has this katsu sauce as well as Japanese mayo and a bit of that Japanese pepper seasoning. I forget what it's called. It's definitely not called furukake because that's the seaweed and sesame seasoning, but they usually use it in udon, if you guys know what I mean. Oh. Nice. First bite of this. Mmm. Mmm. I gotta go in for another one. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Taco wasabi. So this is how you will generally fold the seaweed to be a carrying vessel for the taco wasabi. So you take a corner, fold it like across like this, and you just wrap it around. So you're ultimately left with this cone here, which will be used to hold the taco Wasabi. Oh. <gasps> Put a bit much. This is what it looks like. First bite of the. Oh. Taco wasabi. Mmm. So good. Squid. Or sorry, octopus. It's raw, so it's nice and kind of chewy. Has that good bite. And the wasabi adds a super nice kick to it. The fish roll on top, which honestly, if you didn't know, has MSG in it. So it's kind of like a flavor ball. A little MSG never hurt nobody, you know? More salmon. Don't bite. Classic. Mm. Put a bit too much soy sauce, but still good. Some ginger to cleanse the palate. Mmm. Let's get some more squid in. Oh, come on. Oh, shh. This is kind of. Let's go for these ones. Double bite of squid. Mmm, 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 mmm. I totally forgot about the gomai. I'm just enjoying the other stuff so much. Gomai. Okay, it's a nice spinach salad with this beautiful sesame sauce. Oh, first bite of this. Oh. Mm. This 
sweet, nutty, texture's on point. If y'all like kind of blanched spinach, it's a good one for you. It's a really light and clean tasting. Let's get back to the salmon. Mm. Taco wasabi. Nice. Mm. Let's get another one going. Let's go. Mm. Gomai. some wasabi on here. Okay, salmon and tuna. Salmon and tuna, double white. Let's go. Mm. Amazing combo. Mm. Some taco wa. Sabi. Mm. Mm. If you're a fan of raw octopus and you like wasabi, get on this. Mm. So good. Okay, um, I feel like I ate that super fast, but I don't know, it, it was just so good. I feel like there's almost virtually no carbs here besides like maybe like the batter on the squid, some of it from the spinach, but so good. Mm. That was gonna be my last bite. Um, <laughs> Oh, okay. As I was saying, let me know if I finished that faster than usual, but so delicious. I don't know if I could have slowed down on eating. Maybe, probably not. But either way, that was this week's latest video. I'm gonna get up and clean this up really quick and then get back to y'all for the outro and I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, everyone, that was this week's latest episode. Another episode of a Japanese feast with some different things to try this time. I hope you all enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed eating it as per usual. As a side note, I forgot to mention earlier, some of y'all might be wondering like, yo, why does this guy have like a beard? Why does Gabe have a beard or facial hair this time? And to be quite honest, I grow facial hair really fast and easily and I was just too lazy to film before today's shoot. But nonetheless, I just wanted to kind of explain it to you in case you're wondering. Hopefully y'all don't mind. But anyways, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's latest episode. As per usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and smash that noti button to be notified when the next episode will come out. I just want to say thank y'all, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.